there's I don't know if you remember this, but we were talking about a while back. There's like the, a few of these research papers that came out basically saying every time there's a major uh, AI news event globally, pretty much crypto AI coins just see like a, a pump from it. Not, you know, usually the best ones will see the most pumps. So not too shabby. Um, let's see. I think it's there we go. All right. Are you able to see this? I am. Yes. Okay, sweet. Uh, so maybe we'll go over to Solana for that first one. We'll look at Phantom as well, of course. But with Solana here, I mean, it's, it's pretty easy to see that it's had a pretty damn good run over the last one month versus a lot of other altcoins. I mean, here's one other way to look at it. This, I think the total three, the total crypto market cap outside of Bitcoin and Ethereum, so just all the altcoins, this kind of gives you an, uh, an idea of a pattern that is like the average pattern for most altcoins, meaning most altcoins, right? They're not on a full fledged breakout. This would be on a full fledged breakout if we go above about 455 billion in total market cap right now. It's around 411 uh, billion. And it's just kind of sitting at this area of what was resistance that became support. So most, you know, this has run for about a month and the overall market cap ran by about 35%. Um, so anytime you see that, you know, you see most altcoins doing doubles uh, or more. So when then when you look at something like Solana, you can see Solana is a little bit further advanced in that pattern, because if Solana were to have the same breakout, so you come here and this breakout was on August uh, of 2022, for a lot of coins, they have not yet beat that portion uh, of their chart from that, that high. And so uh, Solana did, so you can already see that compared to most altcoins, uh, Solana's maybe, if I were to be eyeballing it, something like 60% higher than that, than that total, uh, market cap, just based on like, what do you call it? Price structure. So you'd probably put this area right here where it would be like support. Uh, that would be something like, uh, right about where it's at now or a little bit lower. So yeah, Solana's already done that run. So I guess that's a good coin to just kind of be like, okay. This is since September 11th. It's done a 282% move uh, and a 216% move since mid-October. And so if another altcoin that we're looking at, because this was one of the first ones to run outside of Bitcoin Ethereum, um, we, if there's an opportunity that's better than this, that's pretty much what we're looking for. So if you're like, okay, would it be Solana, ILV, or Fetch? Well, Solana would be something you'd want to dollar cost average into, but not like be looking to buy right now because it's i think it does it does pull back here uh, a little bit but um any any thoughts on just like where we are in solana price action yeah i think it's gonna cool off for a little bit and then kind of ramp up i think the the hundred dollars is kind of the meme on this thing and stuff like that so um i do like solana it's going to be strong um it's got a lot of support but um i yeah, it, like the ecosystem is going to come back. There is new coins being launched on it now. There's starting to be a little bit of action on it on the altcoin side, but nothing to really write home about just yet. But it's kind of like time to kind of start looking at the ecosystem a bit. But yeah, um, the, the only yeah. major one I think I've seen make it into the top 100 is this Pyth. Uh, this is a Solana based, to based token uh, that's done. You know, decent since it came out, but it only has been out here for like a week now. And yeah. um, this one, though, like this is the one problem with a lot of Solana ecosystem coins, right? Is that they just have a lot of inflation. Uh, there's like still 80, 90 percent of this token that's still yet to come out. And we saw that a lot with like Serum and uh, other coins last time. So I'm still kind of what do you call it? Even though there, there's, you know, this is being talked a lot about and, and it looks like it could be successful. It's kind of like the chain link of the Solana network. Um, it doesn't seem like something to me that's going to make a, a big run right now, simply because I think there's still a lot of the market that's like, prove it, you know, to the Solana ecosystem outside of just the price action of Solana itself. But yeah, if you look at Serum or something like that, I mean, that's kind of the case in point here. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. I mean, it had its pumps, but then straight dump so uh and this one same story right had that 10 uh is it, is it the same number let's see that's like what uh billion, billion. 
Yeah. Um, and like, yeah, you can see how much of it's still not out yet. But uh, let me go back to that Pyth. Let's see. This is the same number. It'd be hilarious. Yeah, it's the same fucking number. God damn it. <laughs> 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 Serum two point oh with chain link in a dressing mm -hmm. wear. Yeah, so yeah, uh, be, I would just say be careful with you know Solana based ecosystem coins. But when money do, does move into there, um, you know that's the overall the ecosystem will continue to pump um, with Solana. So yeah, uh, the one thing that I do like to do on some charts is if you just if it's uh, old enough for a monthly chart that sometimes shows like resistance areas very uh, strongly. And so like you said, that hundred dollar mark, right? If we take a look at that area there, that's right in the middle of that chunk right there, which makes sense. It's kind of like it's last area of resistance on the upside. Where do you see Solana being a year from now? So uh, I know we talked about Bitcoin Ethereum extensively a couple of weeks ago in terms yeah. of where we think it could be at this time next year. You know, there's a lot of variables that go into that, of course. Um, but you no, know, what price action are you looking at on Solana for yourself? Honestly, the way things are kind of going, um, I think late into next year, I could see it above its all time high, believe mm -hmm. it or not. It's, it doesn't take much to like go up there. Like it'd probably be some of the low 10, low 200s or so, but uh, with, with little peaks above that and stuff like that, but it, it can definitely get above its all time high. It's kind of what I'm, it's just because it's how overhyped it is and um, there is VC involvement in it and they're really trying to restart it back up. Uh, yep. It's one of the US chains that's out here as well. And uh, it's they haven't given up on it. And they have, it's just, I, you know, it is what it, like, I thought it was gonna take a little bit longer for it to recover. It should have crashed a little lower and it didn't, you know, it really just had this kind of like, you know, 14, $12 all time low basically. And a little wicks to the bottom of it, but basically, you know, it, it pretty much stayed above ten dollars, and uh, it should have gone to three dollars or so in terms of a low, and it didn't because they just didn't want to let it psychologically go below ten dollars, and uh, it's gone up. It's been the best performer of like an L one so far. Um, yeah, they've they've held it up, and they, I think they've yeah they've kind of proven that they're capable of uh, you know building up the ecosystem and and you know seeing it through so and, and the whales are strong enough to hold the price up too so they're gonna have no problem pumping it during the bull market so yeah i, I think the same thing i think most altcoins like it'll be interesting to see but um we have like different types right we have coins that have been around a while and then we have newer coins so we're mostly talking about coins that were like here through the majority of the last cycle um we tend to see right bitcoin break out first to new all-time highs and then the altcoins tend to follow uh, I guess a, if we just took a look at, let's say Cardano, that might be like the quintessential one here if we want to look at that. So Bitcoin broke out into all-time highs November uh, or so of 2020. And um, this doesn't have the whole chart on Cardano, but you can see here clearly this high in 2018 was higher than it took Cardano right here to break that area until February of 2021. So a good ways into the bull cycle. Uh, just as an example. So, um, yeah, like stuff like Solana, uh, yeah, by the end of next year, sure, 